All right, Dads, if you're out there, you might want to sit down for this one because yep. the future's here. Over the years, <laughs> we've seen food and drink delivery transformed from bikes to apps and now drones. Yes, in the sky. One brewery <sighs> is pioneering the new delivery system where beers are literally flying off the shelves. Let's bring in <laughs> brewery owner Zach Gleason and drone pilot Eric Iden, who are in Minnesota this morning. Zach, um, genius. You've got a delivery coming, I hear. Yeah, we have a delivery coming right now. Here comes our uh, beer tender drone delivering me a beer. So check this out. Oh, my goodness. Wait. i, I got to see this with my own eyes. This is not CGI, folks. We are live. There's no way you can doctor this video. No beer goggles involved. No be oh. oh, my God. Okay. How many beers did it take to come up with this idea? <laughs> How many, that... how many beers did it cut, take to come up with this genius idea? Well, here's Eric, our creative director, and I'm going to let him talk about that part with you. We, uh, Hi, Eric. Take him into that part of the story. Yeah, so, um, well, I've been a professional drone pilot for a little while and realized with this drone it has a little uh, back to it and um, realized that, you know what, maybe I can actually set something on it, kind of like test the limits of the drone. And lo and behold, last month, we did one take with a glass of water. And this was our, uh, just a first take with the beer. And turns out you could actually just fly this uh, drone with the beer oh, on its back. I always knew the water was a gateway to beer. I don't know, it just looks, <laughs> it looks a little dicey to me. I'm gonna be on, it's wobbling. Um, everyone's drinking. Are there? Have you ironed out the problems, the dangers involved with this? So, as you can see in the first take, we just did just a flat coaster on the back of it, and then I've you know done some tinkering now and actually put a plastic petri dish on here to kind of give it some connection. And then tomorrow, what we're going to be doing for the first time is working with a food vendor and actually going to be flying food on it. So this goes on top, and now you've got a basket to fly like a hamburger, some fries. So again, a little bit of a nascent stage that we're in. Um, obviously this uh, <laughs> this first beer was only done uh, 30 days ago and it you know became viral video. It's got over 50 million views now. And I think for me, it was more or less just wanting to start a conversation. Like where are we at with technology now? Is it feasible in the tap room on a, let's say a Friday night at like 10 closing time or something? Probably not, um, but if we'd have, quite the uh, cleanup bill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. but uh, it's been fun. We're always trying to come up with fun uh, social media content. And this this was a little bit of a brainchild of Eric from that point of view right. uh, perspective. Zach, I'm not, so I'm not, was, uh, Zach, I'm not with the try. union, but how do your staff react to this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. So uh, we have a fantastic staff. We're not going to replace any staff right now. Um, this is something fun that we did, and that has just really been catchy and fun to talk about. Are those beer goggles you had on before, Eric? <laughs> so these are actually uh, FPV goggles. So uh, not quite beer goggles. That's for later in the evening. Uh, this is actually just <laughs> <laughs> controlling the drone. <laughs> Please tell me you have a no drinking and flying the drone policy, though. That is actually, it comes along with the license. You wouldn't want your uh, pilot to be, you know, drinking and flying as well. So same same territory abides with uh, FAA drone rules as well. So no yeah. drinking and flying. And they call it eight, eight hours bottle of throttle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drink and drone, kids. That's the I mean, it's thing. revolutionary, exactly. guys. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're excited to kind of test the limits, and we may even have a night where we have one hour of people coming. Because at the end of the day, it's like these batteries will last you 10 minutes. Right. So you think about just one drone that's, you know, six batteries per hour, and then on a 10-hour day, you're talking 60 batteries just for one drone. Yeah. So, you know, if uh, DJI Global wants to reach out and uh, right. have us kind of <laughs> test <laughs> the limits of some of their drones, we're more than happy to do that. Uh, respect oh, the well hustle. Respect Cheers the to hustle. both of you. Well done. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks, Dave and Sylvia. See you guys. Thank you. Take care. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my goodness, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about? Always happens.